<laughs> back again with another uh, camera test. This time we're in the Ford. So, if you're just catching up, I gave up on the uh, DJI Action 2 and went to the DJI Action 3. I actually really like the 3. I think it's pretty much better all around than the 2. The only thing, I guess, I don't know. I really wanted to like the 2 and it just didn't, that thermal uh, limit on how long you can record is just such a bummer. But anyways, so we are in the Ford. We are doing a camera test with the DJI Action 3 and we are using a cheap Amazon uh, wireless microphone, which is something I just love about the DJ, DJI action cameras is that they can just take a regular USB-C microphone, wired, wireless, whatever, you plug it in and it works. Um, so I actually hadn't done one of these videos in a little bit because I had been driving the Ford more. Um, and I don't have a mount. And so I actually was able to find, I guess I could have glued something to the dash or whatever else. And uh, we'll see how this footage ends up. But what I actually found was like a weighted tr small tripod mount that has a rubber pad on the bottom and it just sits on top of the dash. So I don't have to have anything on my dash when I'm not using the camera. So I'm going to try that out here at the end. Uh, I think right before I uh, shut you guys off, I'll show you what this thing looks like. Uh, I was able just to use a small rig DJI Action 2 uh, adapter because they both have the same, uh, that little magnetic quick couple system on the cameras. So I was actually able to salvage some parts from the um, DJI Action 2 experiment, which is nice. And I'm sure I'll find a use for the two doing something. Uh, but currently, uh, I think I'm just going to use the three as my primary camera. So, yeah, whatever I can use between those. I do really like that mount system because it's just so easy to move the camera around to different things, um, which for me is nice. I, I never was really a, a big fan of the GoPro style mount. I'm sure I'll still have to use those at some point, but for me, uh, I like this little quick mount system a lot better. So yeah, test. Uh, this is a 2.7K 4x3 footage with uh, a little bit of different camera settings. I've been kind of experimenting with that, uh, you know, trying to follow more of the rules uh, for cameras to try and find, wow, people are running red lights like you would not believe today, um, to find some settings that work overall a lot better. Um, so this is 2.7K, uh, 4x3 orientation footage, which supposedly makes it easier to crop in into vertical format footage. If I want to do something like uh, a short or Instagram video. Uh, again, this is all just experimental, but uh, did some hyperlap testing and uh, the, the 2.7K footage does uh, look much better, I think, than the 1080p footage, kind of the wide format. Um, so yeah, we'll try this out. This is, uh, I think, pretty slow frame rate. Um, which is supposed to help kind of with that action camera sharpness and give it a more cinematic look and uh, turn the ISO down. And uh, this is rock steady because I do think this mount is not going to be perfect for uh, stability. So I wanted to give a little bit something there and it's an action camera, so why not? Um, see if I can get into this spot. Just got you along with me on a little trip to lunch here.
But uh, anyways, let's see if I can get you out of here real quick and show you this mount. So here is the mount that I've been using. And uh, wow, you guys are kind of washed out in the sunshine. But anyways, it's just this weighted mount. So it's, but it's got like a rubber base to it. And then I just installed one of these uh, small rig mounts. So that's how that works. And so far, so good. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.